What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to quickly create an exploded view of the objects inside of your models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so sometimes when you have a model like this, you want to see the different parts and pieces and you want to see them in a way where you can actually see how everything comes together. That can be kind of hard in a view like this. So like for example, you'd have to take like a section cut across here or hide all of the different parts and pieces in order to see the uh, the little notch that we have to cut out for our base to fit in. So we don't necessarily want to do that. And so a lot of the time what you want to do is you want these objects to be kind of exploded or moved out from each other. And so it seems like what you would want to do is you would want to come in here and just take these objects and move them out. So, so that you could see them, and that's messing up my faces and everything, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it feels like you would wanna do that in here, but you actually don't wanna do that in design mode. Because if you do that in design mode, what that's gonna do is that's gonna change your base condition or your base model, which is not what we want. And so what we're gonna do instead is we're actually going to use the animation function in order to create an exploded view, kinda of like what's shown on the preview image, actually. So that way we don't have to change things on in, um, inside a design mode and mess up our model that we've worked really hard on. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little drop down right here and go to animation. And then under animation, um, we haven't talked too much about this tool space. I think I talked about it a little bit, but basically this workspace um, allows you to animate movements inside of your model. So for example, um, you can animate like your camera movement. You can see how this has a camera movement in here that animates um, basically where your camera is located. Well, another thing you can do is you can also adjust the object locations in the 3D space in order to create an animation. So for example, the easiest way to do this, and it doesn't give you a lot of control, but there's an option in here for auto explode. And so what auto explode is gonna do, and we need to actually select our component before we do this. Um, what auto explode is gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's gonna try to automatically explode your object for you. Now, obviously the way this worked didn't make a whole lot of sense. So um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of control and I don't necessarily recommend it for what we're trying to do here, but it can be helpful for certain kinds of quick animations. However, in this situation, we don't wanna do this. So we're and click on the little X. And so what we want to do instead is we just want to move things out manually. So we just want to take each one of these objects that's in here, we just want to click on it, and we just want to use the transform function in order to move them. So you can see how I'm just single clicking, and then I'm just using the arrows to move these out. So you can see how as I click and drag each one of these, they're moving away from this, and you can really kind of see the way the parts and pieces come together. And so notice when you do this down here at the bottom, you're getting these little tabs in here with the move icon on them. So that's indicating um, that you've moved the object. So what it's doing is it's basically tracking the location in the 3D space down here below for each one of these. And so if you wanted them to go back to the way they were, then you could just right click on one of these and we probably need to click OK first in order to set these, but you could just right click on one of these and delete. And so when you delete it, what that's gonna do is that's gonna delete the movement that we had added. And I'm gonna undo that. But notice too, that when we start, your box is all kind of together. And then at the end of this, your pieces have moved apart. So this is actually animating the transition between the beginning and the end. We don't really need to worry about that for right now, but notice that you can use this in order to create an animation as well. But for what we wanna do right now, we just wanna move these parts and pieces out so that we can reference them on our plan sheet. So in order to do that, we've got everything moved. Now what we wanna do is we want to name this tab. And in this case, you can see how my tab is already named exploded view, but you can just double click in here and just name this exploded view. That's gonna be helpful in a minute because we're gonna import this view into our drawing workspace and this will make it easy to find. So what we have is we have this exploded view of our box. Well, now we wanna add that to our plans. So if you remember, we've already created a set of plans as a part of this series. So I'm gonna go open those up. If you don't have that set of plans, you can just uh, click on this little animation button right here and go down and find the option for drawing from design. But make sure you save this before you do that. So we're just gonna save this, I'm gonna click on okay, and then I'm gonna open up my plans. 
And so the first thing you're going to get when you open this up, if you had already created plans, is you'll get this little uh, this little notice right here that the drawing is out of date, meaning it's referencing an older version of the design. What that means is that means we we had created our drawings and they were referencing the old version of this model. So before we had saved it with the exploded view. So it just means that the model is more up to date than what's shown on the drawings. We can go ahead and click on this button in order to update this. And this will go through and this will find the most recent version of your model. So that'll update your drawings. Just note that if you did make any changes to your design, these will update with those changes as well. And so now what I want to do is I don't really want to mess with this plan sheet for right now. What I want to do instead is I want to create a new sheet. So I'm just going to go down here to my quick add function. What my quick add function is going to do is that's going to allow me to add another drawing. So now I have another drawing sheet inside of Fusion 360. But what we need to do is we need to add a new view referencing our exploded view on this plan sheet. So what I'm going to do, and you can click on this little drop down right here, but you can also just right click and under drawing views, you can click on base view. What that's going to do is that's going to allow you to bring in your base view. So remember we've done this before and we just brought in a model view. Well now, we want to go over to this drop down and under representation, there's actually an option in here referencing that exploded view that we had created inside of our animation workspace. So if I click on this, you can see how now what I'm getting instead of my model view, which is right here, I'm getting the view that we referenced from inside of that animation. So I'm getting my exploded view. So I can bring this in, I can set it, and let's go ahead and adjust our scale one to one is probably a bit big. You can set this to one to two, but see how you can bring this exploded view animation inside of your drawing really easily. And then we're going to go ahead and click on OK for right now. We're going to click and drag this around, but notice that this view gives you the same options that any other view would. So if I double click on it, it's going to pop this back up and I can set this where it shows my shaded view if I want or my visible and hidden edges. So my different views are in here, as well as my orientation. So if I wanted this to be maybe a Southwest, bad example. Just notice you can select all of your standard isometric views like this as well. So this gives you the same options that there are drawing view created on the other page. So we're going to click on close. You can see how now you can annotate this or really do whatever you want with it inside of Fusion 360 in your plans. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did, did you know you could create exploded views like this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.